Scene script. Have you ever wondered if your mum is a narcissist? It's a difficult question, but understanding the emotional dynamics can help. So let's delve into the world of emotional dynamics and discover three key indicators that may suggest your mum could be a narcissist. First, let's consider dominant and controlling behavior. Does your mom often try to dictate your choices or limit your autonomy? Do you ever feel like you're walking on eggshells around her, fearing her anger or disapproval? This type of behavior can be a sign of a narcissistic parent who may use control and dominance to maintain their sense of superiority. Next, we have a lack of empathy and compassion. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It's a fundamental aspect of any healthy relationship. But in a relationship with a narcissist, empathy can often be noticeably absent. Does your mom seem to have a hard time understanding your feelings or needs? Does she dismiss your concerns or invalidate your experiences? If so, this lack of empathy could be another indicator of narcissism. Lastly, we'll explore the concept of unconditional love versus conditional approval. In a healthy parent-child relationship, love is usually unconditional. But for a narcissistic parent, love and approval might feel contingent on your achievements or compliance with their expectations. Does your mom's affection seem to fluctuate based on your performance or obedience? Does she withhold love or support as a form of punishment? If these situations resonate with you, it could be a sign of narcissistic behavior. Now, it's crucial to remember that these are potential indicators of narcissism, not definitive proof. Each relationship is unique and these characteristics may manifest differently in different situations. If you find these behaviors familiar, it may be a sign of narcissism. However, remember to avoid jumping to conclusions without further exploration. It's always recommended to seek professional guidance if you're concerned about your relationship with your mom. After all, understanding is the first step towards healing. Continuing on, let's delve into the communication and conflict aspects that might indicate narcissistic tendencies. Firstly, consider gaslighting and manipulation. Gaslighting is a psychological tactic where a person manipulates another into doubting their own sanity or perception. It's like being told that the sky is green when you know it's blue. Does your mom often twist reality or deny things she said or did? Does she make you question your own perceptions and memories? This can be a subtle form of control, making you dependent on her version of reality. Secondly, let's discuss the inability to take responsibility. The blame game is a common feature in narcissistic behavior. If your mom consistently blames others for her mistakes or problems and refuses to apologize or acknowledge her wrongdoing, it might be a red flag. It's normal to make mistakes, but a persistent refusal to accept responsibility can suggest a deeper issue. Lastly, we have excessive criticism and negativity. Constructive criticism helps us learn and grow, but constant unrelenting criticism can erode self-esteem and foster feelings of inadequacy. Does your mom frequently criticize you even for small things? Does she focus on the negative aspects of your life and downplay your successes? Remember, everyone deserves recognition and encouragement for their achievements, no matter how small they might seem. It's important to note that these behaviors, while indicative of potential narcissistic tendencies, are not definitive proof. Many factors can contribute to these patterns, including stress, mental health issues, or even cultural norms. It's also possible to exhibit some of these behaviors occasionally without being a narcissist. We all have moments of self-centeredness or defensiveness. Recognizing these patterns can be a step towards understanding the relationship with your mom. But it's essential not to label her as a narcissist based solely on these signs. Understanding is the first step towards healing and creating healthier dynamics. If you feel that these patterns apply to your situation, consider seeking support from a professional who can provide guidance and help you navigate these complex emotions. In this part, we will examine the family and social relationships aspect of a potentially narcissistic parent. Let's start with isolation and control. This can be one of the most insidious behaviors of a narcissistic parent. Does your mom often try to isolate you from friends and family? Maybe she even discourages you from pursuing your own interests or developing relationships outside of her control. This might look like her insisting on being involved in every aspect of your life or subtly undermining your relationships with others. Moving on, let's discuss the victim complex. This is where your mom might play the victim in every situation, 
always portraying herself as the one who is wronged. Does she often blame others for her own unhappiness or failures? This could be a significant red flag. The world in the eyes of a narcissist is often against them and they are the perpetual victim. Finally, we come to grandiosity and entitlement. Does your mum have an inflated sense of self-importance? Does she expect special treatment or privileges? This can often show up as her believing that she is superior to others or that the rules don't apply to her. It's a mindset of me first and everyone else comes second. These behaviors, isolation and control, victim complex and grandiosity and entitlement, can often create an unhealthy dynamic in family and social relationships. They can lead to feelings of confusion, guilt, and even fear, but it's important to remember that recognizing these patterns is the first step towards understanding and dealing with the situation. These patterns can be alarming, but remember these are potential indicators, not definitive proof. If you're concerned about your relationship with your mom, it's essential to seek support from a professional, like a therapist or counselor. They can help you navigate this challenging terrain and guide you toward healthier relationships and better emotional well-being. As we wrap up, it's important to remember a few key points. While the signs we've discussed could indicate a narcissistic personality, they are not definitive proof. It's essential to avoid labeling someone as a narcissist without professional guidance. Mental health is a complex field and understanding it requires expertise. If you're concerned about your relationship with your mum, it's highly recommended to seek support from a therapist or counselor. They can provide a safe space for you to explore your experiences, validate your feelings, and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Moreover, always prioritize your own well-being and emotional safety. If your relationship with your mom is causing you distress, it's important to establish boundaries to protect yourself. You have every right to ensure your emotional health. Remember, Recognizing these signs is just the first step. Seeking professional help and prioritizing your well-being is crucial. Don't hesitate to reach out and get the support you need.